Located in Glendale's Verdugo Woodlands neighborhood at the base of the Verdugo Mountains lies one of California's most historic landmarks, the Catalina Verdugo Adobe. The Catalina Verdugo Adobe is a step back in time and reflects what life was like back in the late 1800s. The city of Glendale bought this historic property in 1989 with the goal of preserving the history and beauty it offers. The beautiful landscaping and numerous walking paths on the 1.3 acre property invite you to explore this historic place. In 1784, Don Jose Verdugo, a corporal in the Spanish army stationed at the Mission San Gabriel, was given the second great land grant to an individual in California by the King of Spain. The rancho stretched across 36,000 acres of land from where the Jet Propulsion Lab is today down to Eagle Rock along the Los Angeles River to Warner Brothers and up to the northern part of Sunland Tahunga area and back across. The conditions of this land grant were that Don Jose Verdugo farm the land, raise livestock, and live in peace with the Native Americans of the area. When Don Jose Verdugo passed away, his son, Julio Verdugo, took over the family business. Unfortunately, he lost much of his cattle due to drought and was unable to pay his debts. He was forced to mortgage the land and was never able to pay it back. As a result, the land was divided between the various debtors in an agreement known as the Great Partition. Julio's son, Teodoro Verdugo, was given the land the adobe occupies today. Teodoro then built the adobe home in 1828, naming it after Catalina Verdugo, the daughter of Don Jose Verdugo. The adobe is one of the oldest buildings in Glendale, a place you can visit and see history in person. The home is furnished in a way that reflects the period of the adobe and showcases how the original adobe structures were made. The Catalina Verdugo adobe property is also the location of a historic moment in the Mexican-American War. In 1847, Jesus Pico, representing Lieutenant Colonel John C. Fremont in the United States, met with his brother, General Andres Pico, a member of the Mexican Army, under what is known as the Oak of Peace, one of the five largest oak trees in California that once stood on this property. It was during this meeting that the brothers negotiated a peaceful resolution that would end the war between the United States and Mexico. Although the tree died from root rot in 1987, you can still see the remnants at its original site. In the early 1900s, this property was sold to land developer F.P. Newport. Newport knew of the historic value of the adobe and was careful to preserve it. The property was later sold to Dr. Ernest Bashore in 1946 and then sold to the city of Glendale in 1989. Since then, this property has been registered as a California historical landmark. The city of Glendale keeps this property open as a public park so that the people can visit and learn about an important part of our regional history.